Now, according to news out today, there's an increasing trend in people using their mobile phones or the internet to diagnose illnesses. Now, experts are therefore warning that technology could turn us all into a nation of neurotics. And it seems even those without technology are at it, with many of us going with our instincts and diagnosing ourselves. So, is it ever wise to self-diagnose Sherry Houston? Well, the thing is... <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm a would-be hairdresser and a would-be doctor, you see. And the problem is you can go on the internet and you can find out everything about yourself, can't you? So I think it makes you a bit paranoid because you've got everything wrong with you now. It's great. <laughs> and also you can buy those blood pressure things, so you know what your blood well, pressure is. You can get your heart things. It's brilliant. I know. And, and the thing is, when I go to a doctor, I go in and, and I sit down and go, well, I've just come today because I don't feel very well, but I've got something wrong with my stomach, but I know what that is because I had such and such. A... So I think probably I've got a bug, and that bug, if you gave me so and such, a... I think it could be cured with that. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> Right. Uh, well, I, th I think you no. know you, you know yourself, don't you? You know what's wrong with your body. I mean, since I got f back from Phuket, I've had the funniest stomach. Oh my oh, goodness! Yeah. Whatever I eat, it. Oh, but anyway, that's. <laughs> and so, I, so I know really that there's something slightly wrong. But maybe I don't like to take things. I hate taking pills no, and everything. No, I, I don't, don't like. I don't believe in antibiotics or anything. But I do like to cure people and dogs. If you've got a dog, I, you know, I can do that. <laughs> So I do like to diagnose. Do you, do you oh. diagnose up or down? And what I mean by that is, do you always oh. make it something she worse? Oh, I thought no, you said I mean, in the body or out of the no. body. Well, I mean, do you, <laughs> like, do you diagnose that, oh, you'll be fine? Or do you diagnose that, diagnose that oh, dear, Well, I do. I, no, I do start off and I go, oh, well, the thing is, when I had that, <laughs> I've always had everything. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's I, always wrong. I spend an inordinate amount of time on the internet self-diagnosing. And even if there's nothing wrong, I'm looking for things yeah. that might be wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't actually go into the doctors. I don't do that. Because I do, you know, obviously I respect them for, you know, their knowledge and everything else. So... I do make little notes of the symptoms because I kind of forget. But only if I agree with them, the ones I find on the internet. And I always check it out with the doctor because I think it's probably a bit annoying for the doctor. Right. It's um, to walk in there and say, uh, right, now I've got this, uh, can you give me something for it? It's like going into the hairdresser and say, right, make me look like Cameron Diaz. It's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> it's like telling them how to do their job. So I don't do that. But I do always check it out, and I do diagnose other people, because, Mark, funny you should say that about coming back from Phuket. Mark's got a bit of a bug at the moment. He's, got, he's had a bit of food poisoning. Is that why it's called Phuket? And it... <laughs> behind me. <laughs> it might be, but he, he just thinks, oh, it's a bit of food poisoning, it's all right, but it's been going on for a week, so you've got to go to the doctors. Yeah. And then I, I made the mistake, because it, he's not a hypochondriac, but... He, he does get a bit worried about his health, you know. Um, this is why he gave up smoking. So I said to him, I said, well, I, I, I've had exactly what you've got. I had it a couple of years ago, and it, it's probably a parasite. His face, it looked like... It looked like I just said you're going to die tomorrow. His face just went... No. And, and it probably is a, a parasitic infection. Has he gone to the doctors, though, to have it checked out? He's been this morning, yeah. Because yeah. I must... You know, I'm like you. I send my kids to the doctors rather than... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> more, more than myself. <laughs> he went all by himself. Oh, oh she's only been back a day. Um, but, no, I, I, I do. And I must admit, for myself, I'm more of a right, sort of, you know, get-on-with-it sort of, sort of person. But with my kids, I always make sure that they go to the doctors and make sure that, you know, any little bug that they might have is properly checked out mainly because with myself that if I've got a headache I'm convinced it's something horrible and I just suffer quietly to myself being quite a little martyr. I ring, I ring my doctor up. No you shouldn't go. You shouldn't just go. They're very busy. <laughs> and I ring them up. I've got luckily I've got a really nice relationship with my doctor and I ring them up and I say look I, you know I think I've got a bit of a chest infection and and, and they sort me out because I don't I don't like going in there first of all because you sit there and everyone's looking at you wondering what you've got. <laughs> So I sort of go, <coughs> to make sure they think it's just a cough or a cold and nothing well, you too horrible. you always get something from a waiting room, don't well, you? you? Can, That's the yes, trouble. You can get all sorts of things I think Mark and room. I must have done something together to mm. get the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
not oh, oh, you flirting with him at my party. I always flirt with him. After I'd gone to bed, it's I was true. looking. And I have to say, ladies, obviously, you do have to go to the doctor if you are feeling a bit poorly. You can't just self-diagnose yourself. You have to take no. yourself along there at some point. Because the main reason being, you've read a little bit on the internet, they've actually been to school. Yeah, but when you get to our age, <laughs> you'd be up there with every ache and pain, wouldn't yes, you? Yes, that's yeah. what they're there for.